right, so we had a rep come by uh, one of our retail locations selling cases, and he hooked me up on this, basically he gave me this uh, metal bumper here, which looks kind of cool, and then this carbon fiber uh, deal decal for the back. Now, here's a question, though. Is this really a good idea? Because, as you can see, hopefully this bumper is made out of some sort of metallic alloy. And my concern was always whether or not this would cause some interference for the phone's antenna system. And from what I've seen, it looks like it does not a whole lot, but just enough. Because what I'm going to do right now is just put the phone into field test mode. And in order to do that, you can do this with any iPhone that I'm aware of. Uh, you're going to dial star 3001 pound 12345 pound star and when you hit the call button it is going to put you into field test mode and then if you take a look up here at the top left hand corner you'll see that right now I've got a negative 118 so you can actually see numerically what your signal looks like instead of just seeing four or five bars now what this is supposed to represent basically depends on the amount of signal that you're getting from the cell tower and my understanding is that the number should be as low as possible so basically the higher the number gets the worse your signal is and they say that a really good signal is going to be about negative 150 and that is db i assume decibels and a bad signal or marginal signal would be at negative 113 as you can see i'm at negative 118 for some reason uh, it still shows very good signal strength on this little bar meter, but what this thing is telling me is that I'm not getting a very good signal, and I realize this for a couple of reasons. One, I always tend to live in an area that is just on the fringe of good service, and the way that wireless signals work or radio signals work is that they do reach us inside our homes because even though you don't have a line of sight with the tower that you're connecting to, radio frequencies tend to bounce around a lot. So they'll hit one surface, come through the window, bounce off the wall, and eventually get to your phone. However, if we have something here that's inhibiting the signal, that can be a problem, especially in a marginal area. And what I noticed is that a couple of buildings that I went into where I used to be able to get phone calls, I no longer can do. In fact, I get no service up here at the top most of the time. Now, what I'm gonna do is just compare this. So you see I've got negative 118 at the moment. But if I take the case off, and this actually has screws that hold it in, but I took them off to make it easier. If I take off this metal bumper, and we'll let the phone set for a second. And by the way, you'll have minor fluctuations that have nothing to do with the case. This will go up and down a few digits on its own. But at the moment, you can see I'm all the way down to 112 from where I was before. So unfortunately, even though this is kind of a cool looking bumper, it is not going to be something that I can use. And if you're in a fringe area, it's just enough to take your barely uh, usable signal and push it down to the point where you can't get anything anymore. So let me get this back on here and we'll see. So now it says 112, it'll take a second usually to update. And then shortly, you'll see it eventually go, went back up to 116. So if I'm just getting 112, 113, and I add this case on, that's enough to screw up my signal to the point where my phone's not gonna work anymore. Now, if you wanna exit field, uh, field test mode, all you have to do is hit the home button, that'll take you back to your normal signal, and then again, you'll just have that one tiny little bar, and what was I talking about earlier? That's actually my Wi-Fi. So this little one little dot here, obviously representing the cellular signal. Now, if you wanna stay in field test mode, so that you can see those numbers, if you go ahead and dial that, those digits that I gave you earlier, you can come over here and hold your power button down until you see the slide to unlock or slide to power off. And then what you're gonna do is hold down your home button for five seconds. And this will keep those digits up at the top left-hand corner of your phone as long as you want them to be. So you can go ahead and use the phone. You can see it's still showing the 118 up there in the corner. And now when I take the case off and again you will have to give it a few seconds to update but I'm going to go from 118 probably down to about the same area that I was before so there it is so you can see now again it's updated to 113 now if we take something else like just the standard TPU case which is what I usually use and I like these because they're lightweight but they'll keep the phone from getting scratched up basically so we'll put this on and it's just a clear poly polypropylene, I guess, polyurethane, something like that. Uh, just a plastic case. 
and you can see we'll leave it on here for a little bit, but it should not affect the signal at all. So if you want to test out a case that's more durable or has a thicker plastic, you can put your phone into field test mode this way and do the same thing. You can see I'm still at 113, so my signal is completely unaffected by this particular case. Now let me grab something that's kind of in the middle between the two and we'll see what happens. And don't mind the dog barking in the background if you can hear that. I think the mailman's here. Okay, so I'm gonna put on this one. It's a little, eh, let's see if I can figure out. There we go. So this is gonna go on something like this. And then I think the rubber piece needs to go in first. So I probably did this backwards. Uh, God, this is the weirdest case ever. It has like three pieces. So we'll go ahead, put this on the front. This goes on the back. Okay, and now we snap this one on. And I don't happen to have an OtterBox or LifeProof or anything like that on hand to test at the moment, but I will in the future. Anyways, that's about how it's gonna sit. And you can see we still, at least at the moment, we've got 113. So I think it's going to stay there, what it looks like. That might be my thumbnail right there. Yep, so, so far so good. It doesn't look like this case is gonna make a difference, but unfortunately, this one, not gonna work. Remember to hit the subscribe button, share this with your friends, check out my channel, and I will see you next time.